Right, okay, so setting up my Fitbit. Um, because I've encountered a few um, issues, I thought I'd just, I might as well just put the, the, the um, process of setting it up on as well. So basically what I've done is downloaded the app, um, the Fitbit app. It, it took ages to pair firstly and now then it, it prompts for an update. So where's it gone? Um, the update doesn't complete so it says I just leave the Fitbit here um, close to the device whilst it updates. Um, so the tracker needs set up. Okay so here it clearly states that the Bluetooth is connected to, oh, you can't see it, Blaze, there it is, yeah. So, couldn't, couldn't, could not complete um, your Fitbit Blaze update, and then I will click try it again. And it is, it says hang on, um, it is connected, I'm hoping it's connected because once you successfully pair, some numbers come up on here for you to put on or just to put into to here um, so okay that's not working it has been successfully paired I'm gonna try remind me later for the update whatever that does um, okay now for the fun walk through the basics and learn how to make the most of the Fitbit cool put the charger into a USB port pop your tracker out Place it inside the crayons and close the lid. Okay, does it want me to do that now? But because it said it uh, and it suggested to, to mean it like an instruction, I'm going to do that. So, let's pop it there for a second. I'm going to get the crayon out of the box. So, yeah. Just out of pure necessity, really. I'm not a blogger, so you can write as many comments as you want saying, uh, you know, I don't know how to blog or what about it's true because it's the first time and I'm doing it just because of my frustrations with um, these sorts of, of items. Um, not always, I mean, sometimes it's quite good, but a lot of the time they, they don't tell you the simplest of things that need to be done first. So anyway, I'm going to put the USB thing in here and then, so that's plugged in. This kind of opens like that. And this, I think, it doesn't tell you how to do it but there's kind of two um, opposing, oh no, I just took the strap off somehow. I'm not supposed to do that. Nope. Okay, so what I've done was just, just taking the strap off. And if you can see what I mean by two opposite um, clasps, can you see them? Hopefully it will zoom in. There it is. So one there that you kind of pull down and one here that you pull down at the same time and then it releases the clasps. Well, we, you don't need to do it at the same time, but I have got no idea how, what, oh, okay. So all I've done is, is, is depressed the glass and it just kind of popped out. Whether it's supposed to be done like that, I don't know. Um, Maybe I should have read the instructions first. So I'm assuming this goes in there. And so the pins line up, these pins line up with the, the uh, connections uh, on the back of the uh, device. So it, it, it's not sturdy, it kind of, it's kind of moving about in there. So I wonder that will still work. Okay. So it's in there. It's not giving me any response to whether it, it's, it's charging or it's not charging. Um, 
so I don't know if it's charging or not. Still okay. Let's move that to the side. Let's have a look at um, what's happening with the app. So, put the charger into a USB port, pop your tracker out, place it into the cradle and close the lid. We've done that. So we press next. Get back in action. Place your tracker back into the frame, making sure to align the buttons. What? Oh. Coming to put it back in now. So, okay, I'm just going to pretend I did. Yep, back in. Pass row. All day. Red band loose enough so that it can move back and forth. Do a workout, secure the band so it, so it lays flat. Two to three fingers width above your wrist. You have all this stuff anyway. So wear and clean to take your band on time. Track it gets wet, remove it and dry completely. Clean your band and wrist regularly with salt. Free cleanser. Start exploring. Swipe or tap touch screen to navigate. Okay, it's still in that mold. So it, I think this is the actual app thinks that this is paired, which it should be. So okay, I'm going to take this out. <coughs> oh my yeah, PC made some kind of recognition noise there. So maybe it was, it just hasn't been set up properly. So I don't know if you can see in there. Now there's kind of two connections. Oh, there's connections that are supposed to line up with this. I'm going to disconnect. Tracker needs setup. On my phone it says tracker needs setup. We're try we're having trouble syncing your tracker. Set it up again to connect to your account. Okay, so I'm presuming the tracker is the band itself. So blue shift's back on. I'm gonna exit out of here. Go to the Fitbit app again. Okay. Next. It's just taking me through a guide of learning all about the blaze. It's just taking me through a guide to say what it does and all the rest of it, and it's not even connected. So. Crazy fool! I don't know what's going on here. Gosh, that's loud. Hmm, hopefully, someone downstairs. Down, down. Check it, actions. Tab. Um, I don't know, man. Blaze. Blaze connected. Update your tracker. So this is saying three trackers nearby whilst play okay so this is saying my blaze is connected and then it says update your tracker do not close this app while the tracker is updating still displaying fitbit.com forward slash setup on the device could not complete your Fitbit Blaze update entry. Okay this might take a bit of time so I am gonna um, pause and get back with the resolve. Okay, update is that about an hour or so later could not find anything that was amiss. Tried all sorts, and now I'm on the phone and not the phone, the net to Dave from Fitbit. So, see if he can help me out. Um, so yeah, cool. I'll update when once he, he's uh, identified. Rightio, so it seems as it is updating. That message is now gone off the screen, so you can see it's just a Fitbit logo and some kind of progress bar. It's saying it's going to take like 10 or so minutes. All I've done, or what I had to do, according to uh, my man from Fitbit Dave, Fitbit Dave, from Fitbit Call Dave, um, there's two kind of buttons on one of the sides, you can't see them because this camera doesn't zoom in very quick two on there and there's one on there, so you have to press that one and the bottom right button out of the two, so there's one if we're looking at it face first, there's two buttons on the right side and one on the left I had to hold the one on the left and the one on the bottom right to reset it um, and then go back into the app and just reconnect and that seems to have solved it, so it's updating now. Um, so yeah, that was a resolve. If it happens to you, 
left button, um, bottom right button to reset and then reconnect again. Cool, hopefully I'll get to wear it soon and I will um, post an update of, of the actual review um, once I've used it a little bit. Cheers.